Hi, Gary from Mr G Shave, back for another Wednesday straight shave. Today's a bit of a special one. I've got two. Uh, well, I've had I've had a whole bunch of samples from um, from someone, so I've got a whole sort of bag of samples here from Craig. So thank you, Craig. Um, so that's soap samples. And the um, razor that I'm going to use today, sticking with the th usual theme, is um, somebody I think who's fairly new to honing, um, has had a little bit of experience but has just got some new stones and wanted me to try his edges. So he sent me two gold dollar 66 razors. So there it is there. Oops. I mean that's in focus, there you go. Um, and if you can see the edge, there it is. There. So I'll just, this one, he sent me two. The first one is finished with a, a JNAT Ozuku um, finish. So um, I'll just read it out. It says, please find enclosed two gold dollars referring Refer to numbers on the box or numbering on the box. I have used neither and both have been disinfected from the honing process, but rest assured they are ready to rock, already stropped. There is a light coating of camellia oil on the blades. Wipe this off with a soft cloth, cloth prior to use. As said before, I'm sorry that you... Oh, I won't read that bit. doesn't matter about that. Um, he recommends I watch Dave Card uh, and this is from James. So... As I mentioned before, James sent me these razors to test out. So thank you, James. I will be uh, using your number one today. The bowl that I'm using is the hand-hammered copper bowl. It's it's basically copper plate. Um, I'm not sure there's copper bowl with a tin plate inside or, or vice versa. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so that's the bowl. The brush that I'm using today is the Evil Zebra. It's the Yaki... 26 millimeter evil zebra brush beautiful looking brush this really nice with a tuxedo knot really really nice so that's the hardware and as usual i'm going to get myself ready for the shave and i'll be right back right i'm back so pre-shave wise i'm going to be using perazzo i'll take my glasses off for a second i'm going to need them again let's wet the face down so i've had my shower which is the best way to do a shave. Um, you know, have a shower first, get the moisture into the beard, and then come out and have a shave. It's best shave you'll have. Right, so pre-shave is Perazzo Green, mentholated. This is a bit of a menthol shave, as the uh, soap that I'm using today has got menthol in it. I believe it has, anyway, at least that's the impression um, I'll put, well, I'll talk about that later when I introduce the soap. Um, so let's just rub this in. Oh, been a while since I've used menthol and I don't know why it's, that's really nice. So, let's just wipe the hands. Put the lid back on the free shave. Now the soap today, as I say, is from Craig. He wrote me a, a note saying as promised a selection of master soap creation samples. Feel free to mention on the video where you got them. I don't mind. I hope you enjoy them. All the best, Craig. So I got them off C. Will. C. Will. So that's who I got them from. He sent me eight soap samples from Master Soap Creation. So these are the, the samples I'm hoping you can see. The first one I'm using, number one. Is it going to focus? Yes. So number one is Cherry Freeze. So there we go. Number one is Cherry Freeze. So I'm assuming that this has got some um, menthol in it. I've already used some up. It's a, 
a nice sort of brownish colour, at least the soap sample is. The smell straight from the sample smell uh, reminds me of Cherryade. It really does. Um, really strong cherry flavour or scent. And it is just like Cherryade to my, to my nose. Um, so let's get the brush in the water. Squeeze it out, one flick. And I'm just I'm gonna actually lather this up because I've never used a soap so a soap sample from Master Soaps before, so I'm just gonna lather up. This video might be a bit longer because I'm actually gonna show the lather how I actually do the lather. I actually do it fairly dry to start with. Get get it right in the brush, try and get all the residue off the side of the bowl into the brush. And then I use my sprayer and I go one, two, three, four. And then I continue to lather. So that four sprays is two teaspoons. Now I've had, again, I've had these samples, albeit in um, sealed containers, so they shouldn't have lost any of their moisture. But I'm not going to, well I'll probably put the pricing up there now. Um, and I will talk about the slickness because these soaps are in far better condition than uh, the ones I got that were not seal in sealed packages. So that's eight sprays, four teaspoons. And I get a little bit rougher with it now. And this is about maybe a little bit more. I don't know, no, I think it's ready. So that's only four teaspoons. think that's ready. So here we go. A bit more water on the visage. Wow. Now the scent strength on that is really quite strong. Um, beautiful. Definitely cherry aid to me. really nice almost cherry tunes there is some menthol in it i think although that could be the pre-shave but it goes really well if it is just the pre-shave but i do feel an extra cooling sensation so i think there is definitely menthol in this i have not looked up the scent notes um i'll put them up here again um I think this probably needs a bit more water. For a straight razor shave, you definitely need it quite wet. But this is stunning. <laughs> I think I'm gonna to have to get some Master Soap Creation smelling this. This is beautiful. Wow. Fantastic. Craig, this one's a success. That's for sure. Stunning. Right, here we go. Gonna go with the first pass. So this is the JNAT. Oh, I've got to get my glasses on, I cannot read without them. JNAT finish Ozuku. Ozuku. So here we go. 
So I place the spine to the head, bring it flat and then just bring it out a degree or two. Stretch the skin. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not as refined as, say, John June's, but it's easily good enough to shave with. Um, but John's been doing honing all his life, and I think you've just started, really. Or I'm not sure. Um, but Let's just get the soap off the thumb grip. Mm. There's some slickness here already. Wow, that's nice. That is nice. As I say, it's not quite as smooth. Um, I don't know what grip that stone is. Um, but it might be worth talking to John June about um, his progressions. It's, it's comfortable enough. It is comfortable enough. Very nice. I would say, comparing it to John's edges, John's are really smooth and they just glide through. This doesn't quite glide through, but it's not far off. It really isn't far off. And I have a sneaky suspicion that this will get smoother as I go through the shave. It, the last time I shaved was Saturday, so it's got quite a lot of growth to deal with. But, yeah, very nice indeed. For a first pass, it's done the job. I tell you what, that's almost BBS on the cheeks. So, yeah, very good, very good. <clears throat> I'd be very happy if I could hone like that. Very happy. I've only got a 12,000 grit stone. Naniwa, I think it is. Um, which I haven't actually used yet. So I may... I, I have got a gold dollar that I think it's the same number as that. I'm not sure. I think I've got a gold dollar 66 that I'm going to practice with, and then I've got these two. But I think I may keep these to one side for my giveaway, my 750 subscriber giveaway, uh, where I'll be doing two giveaways as usual. That's why I do one giveaway every 250 subscribers. Um, and I give always I always give two I always do two giveaways one for straight razor shaving and one for um, DE um, but this time I'll probably give these one a straight razor on both both giveaways uh, I think I'm at 590 subscribers so I'm only 10 away from uh, 600 so that'd be cool 
Uh, but I'm still a ways away from the 750 mark for the next giveaway. So um, if you haven't subscribed, it's really easy. Um, all you've got to do is hit the red button. I think it's down here somewhere there. Um, just click on that and you're subscribed. And then when you've finished watching the video, if you want to click on the bell to get notifications, that would be great. But even more important is, even if you don't subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of the video. Tell me what you think of the shave. You know, get involved in the comment section because that's the bit I really love. So, but thank you to all those who've subscribed and supported my channel. It's, it's amazing. It always humbles me every time I look at the subscriber count and how many people comment. Just lately, I haven't had many comments um, in terms of immediately after the video which I used to get but they they come in overnight and you know so it's it's fine <laughs> um, and there's some good banter in there so I enjoy it right so against the grain sorry across the grain on this side is straight up for me yeah as I suspected this feels a lot smoother now on the second pass um, it really does. Interesting. I'm really, really looking forward to using your other razor, um, James. It it uh, be interesting to see what the difference is. So I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm just going to go this way as I usually do. Very smooth. I thought I'd nick myself there. I'm needing some alum, which is a good sign. feels great I'm just gonna go straight up that's really nice you know I think the whole thing with honing I'm just gonna clean off this cloth as you can see, I've got quite a lot of leather on there, so I'm just going to clean that off. Let's get some more of this soap on. Stunning, stunning soap. Really nice, definitely got menthol in this. I can feel the cooling effect straight away as I put this on. I love this scent. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Just pure cherry aid. There's no marzipan about this or anything like that. It's just cherries. Just really strong cherry. I, I would give this probably a six or a seven in terms of scent strength. This is in your face and I love it. So I'm going to be looking this up, see if I can get it in the UK. I must admit, you know, I've got so many soaps, I don't know what to do with them, but when I smell something like that, that's a definite buy. 
Right, against the grain here is straight across. That's better. Need some alum. Feels good. This has got smoother and smoother as I've gone through the shave, so this is an excellent edge on here. It's still not quite there in terms of a John June edge, but I wouldn't expect that. John hones every day, as far as I'm aware, multiple razors a day, and that's his business. So you'd expect him to, to really know his stuff. Um, James, I don't know enough about how much you hone or how, what the history you've got. Um, if you want to leave a comment in the comment section below and let, let it be known who, who you are, go for it. Um, maybe you can answer that question or just send me an email or Facebook message me. It's the question I forgot to ask. You know, I ju I've just made the assumption that you're pretty new to honing. I'm not saying you're brand new. Because if this is the first time you've ever honed, which I doubt very much, then this is stunning. loving this the scent of this the edge on this is great perfectly comfortable to shave with I do enjoy my straight razor shaves I must admit but I know everybody's you know not everybody's into straight razor shaving um, that's why I do a Wednesday straight shave and a Saturday I use a DE as I do on a Friday head shave. Um, but yeah, I get so much pleasure out of straight razor shaving, I must admit. Right, here we go for the pickup pass. A bit more water. Let's just check the slickness here. This is this is not as slick as um, as Wickham's or signature soaps. It certainly hasn't got that level of slickness. It's got nowhere near that level of slickness. But it, it's doing a good job. It's doing a good job. Um, and I'm loving it so much that I'm going to get some of this. I can't wait to try the others. I've got eight of them. So for the next eight shaves, face shaves that is. Head shaves I use cream. I just do. I like using cream on my head. I don't often use cream unless it's for my head, so um, and let, there's tobs as well, but which I use on my face or have been using on my face recently. But I do prefer to use the harder soaps for face shaves. I just I don't know my personal opinion. I think they're better. So 
Here we go. Pick up pass. I think this is going to be pretty close to BBS, if I'm honest. I oh, note that cut has just about stopped. It was only a slight nick. I felt it before it actually cut in, I think. If you're wondering why I always rub my fingers on Adam, for those of you that don't know, most people watching this will know already, but if you rub your fingers on, on an Allen block, it gives you grip. No matter how slick the, the soap is, like the slicker soap that I've got is Signature Soaps, followed very closely by Wickham's. If you rub your fingers on a Allen block, you'll be able to grip your skin and stretch, which is really important when using one of these. So, right, let's have a feel around. The usual spots, just under here, I don't know, I might be able to get a bit more off there. Everywhere else is uh, BBS really. I might have just taken a chunk out of my beard. <clears throat> we'll see <laughs> when I comb it out. <laughs> It'll be interesting. I, I did get at least one or two comments and what there was Jim will shave. Put up a, a message on uh, one of the Facebook groups that I'm a member of saying, you know, who thinks Mr. G-Shave should shave his beard off. And I said, maybe at some point, but I'm not gonna tell anybody until I do it. Um, we'll see. I don't think I'll even tell my daughters. <laughs> and if they watch this, don't have a go. It's not happening anytime soon. So I'm just gonna clean up as I usually do, and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. That was a great shave. That is as close as I've ever got to BBS. It feels great. Cold rinse. <clears throat> oh. It's, I tell you what, that, that menthol feel is excellent, especially when you throw the cold water on. Luckily, it's still 
quite warm here. I think it's 20 odd degrees, so it's it's very comfortable. Um, but when you throw that cold water on after you've had a menthol shave, that is really cooling. Very nice indeed, I have to admit. Right, I'm going to use, because we got cherries, I thought I'd go with melon. It's as close as I can get with a witch hazel. I wish they did, you know, that somebody took up the, uh, the call and started manufacturing witch hazels with all sorts of different scents in for shaving, but nobody has yet. Oh, wow. Just a, a cherry witch hazel will be pretty good. <clears throat> That's great. That goes very well with that uh, cherry flavoured, or cherry scented. I keep saying flavoured. Cherries are some of my favourite fruit. Um, again, I haven't really got anything that matches with cherry in terms of aftershave. So if I do get that moon soaps, I hope they do a splash to go along with it. Um, I'm using Perazzo Green. It goes with the menthol, not so much with the cherry, but as I say, I've got nothing that will match that in terms of uh, aftershaves. <clears throat> but um, that's one for my Christmas list, or I might even be impatient, I might get it before then, so. Oh, and the post-shave balm, Perazzo Green. That is a wonderful shave. Really thoroughly enjoyed that. I love it. You know, if I shaved every day, I don't think I'd enjoy shaving as much. I like to grow, grow it out. And because I don't need to shave for work, um, you know, I can leave it for a few days before I have to shave. Um, so, I think somebody's at the front door. It's my phone vibrating. Luckily, I turned the sound off. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so fantastic. The uh, Moon Soaps um, ch um, Cherry Freeze, brilliant success. Absolute brilliant success. Slickness, it, let, it was let down a bit by the slickness. You really do need to look for a, a really slick soap when you're using a straight razor. But it, it worked and it's given me an excellent shave. I had to be a bit more careful. It didn't grip though, so you know some soaps they, they they've got zero slickness and and they can actually feel like they get into a vacuum on your face. You know it's hard to get it across. But um, anyway, um, perfectly adequate soap, great soap for DE shaves and SE shaves. I would I would ra I would rather use something like Signatures or Wickham soaps um, for a straight shave though that that just you know this it's the slickness you're really after. Anyway, right, that's it for me for now, ladies and gentlemen. The end of the shave from me and this amazing razor from James with the J Nat Edge Ozuku is it? Oh God, I keep forgetting. Glasses again. Ozuku. I don't know whether I'm pronouncing that correctly. But for me and this gold dollar from James. Thanks, James. Thanks, Craig. Um, great. See you on Friday for the head shave now. Bye now.